Hello everyone, it's Rock Tim. Welcome back to the Red Dragon District and more Metroid Prime 2. So I managed to get back to uh, where I was. I did go back and save. And as I went back and save, I actually, uh, as I went got back here, I was actually, I actually managed to pick up some stuff along the way, like a lore entry, some missile expansions, including the one that was behind that body. Uh, apparently, all I had to do was, like, just propel myself up and then roll, roll, roll forward a little bit, and then I could get behind it. I thought I had to get bombs, but I didn't. And there's no, oh. Think you're supposed to be able to destroy that body, and I also uh, got some lore entries as well. So let me show you those. Uh, we got the Luminoff lore. I'm trying to, okay. Saving Ether is one of them. Yeah. Either planetary energy supply reached a critical stage. If left unchecked, the energy would expire, bringing an end to the world. Our greatest minds devise a way to preserve and regulate the remaining planetary energy, the energy controllers. Just checking. Yeah, that, read that one. Yep, read that one. Okay, stellar object. By the time we detected the stellar object as it streaked toward our world, it was too late to stop it. We fired numerous weapons at it in a vain attempt to alter its trajectory. Nothing worked. Our efforts placed a great strain on the energy controllers and weakened ether. All we could do as the object drew closer was take shelter and wait. We gathered stores of food and water, reinforced the shield in our dwellings, and spent the last hours in peace. Hang on a second. All right, <clears throat> here we go. What's key barrel or? Oh, that's what that is, okay. And I got a new research lore. Ah, blue root tree, that's what I found. The blue root tree is common on worlds with desert regions. While an elegant, attractive plant, the tree's leaves are highly toxic. Few species can ingest the leaves and live. Many of them, because of the space pirates, consider the deadly blue leaf a delicacy. <coughs> Even though it's toxic, they're going to eat it anyway. So this is what keeps me from... Uh, protected from the, the atmosphere here and dark ether. Luminoff light crystal generates protective field of light energy. Light crystals provide protection from dark ether's atmosphere. They can be nullified by dark energy and supercharged by light energy. They were created by the Luminoff during their war with the Ing and many still remain in use. Dark creatures despise the crystals. Some are injured or killed by the field crea they create. So, if if I can turn one on or some up, if I can, if I can activate one with an, what, while there's an enemy nearby, it will hurt them or potentially even kill them. <coughs> I imagine I can't necessarily lure them into them. That's probably, that probably wouldn't work. Luminoff Light Beacon generates protective field when energized. Light beacons must be energized by beam weapon fire to function and remain charged for a limited time. Beacons were created when the Luminoff ran short of light crystals during the war. While simpler to make, the beacons were also unstable. They had to be energized periodically and run out of energy at critical moments. Still, any protection was better than none for the Luminoff warriors. So these are temporary compared to the crystals. <coughs> and while you're in the energy bubble, you regain any energy, which is a nice little thing. And it gives you a little indicator when it's about to run out.
anything over here? Oh, yes, there is. But I don't think you can get up there. Let me see. No, I can't. I need the double jump. But I can activate this. Now, the reason I decided to do a set second stream tonight is, uh, transcendental activity. Oh, yeah. The device has been activated back on ether. Yeah, remember that bomb slot in the other side of the world? That Now, I activated it. Let's see. Let's go see what happened, actually. Or can I? Oh, shit. It looks like once I jump down here, now I can't get back up. Not without space jump. Well, shit. Never mind, I can't. So much for that. <coughs> All right, let's go ahead and move move on. Oop. Got a new enemy. It'll let me scan the damn thing. There we go. Inglet. Worker drone of the Ing Horde. While crawling, morphine bioform strongly destroys bright light. Inglets perform the menial label of the horde, but can be pressed into combat into a combat role if there is need. They are amorphous blobs capable of clinging to nearly any surface. Inglets can fire bursts of dark matter in self-defense, but they prefer to avoid battle. They seldom travel alone and can be dangerous in large numbers. As with all Ings, they dislike bright light and will avoid it if possible. I was losing energy fast, so I'm probably a good idea to jump in here. I haven't encountered a large energy unit e yet. Well, imagine I still will at some point. What an oddly smooth surface. This looks familiar. This looks like a half pipe, similar to the ones in Metroid Prime 2. Once I get the, the boost ball back, I'll probably be able to roll up and down this. Excuse me. These are cra these little things are crafty actually. They like they like move around and then they pop out. What is that noise? Stop moving for a second. There we go. Night Barb. Flying, flying airborne hunters native to dark ether. Targets are small but travel in large number for safety. Avoid contact. <clears throat> Night Barbs are small airborne hunting darklings. Smaller and weaker than a hunter ing, a night barb will travel in a large pack to increase its odds of survival. This is why, since their primary predators are hunter ing. So the ing feed on each other. Well, 
Lucky we have a save point nearby here. They are noisy too. I expected an enemy to pop up on the ground there. Hello. <clears throat> that is an ing. A big one, too. Warrior ing. Soldier to the ing horde. Shape-shifting shape -shifting wall crawler. Dangerous combat in and melee in at range. Dislike bright light. Warrior ing are challenging foes. They can render themselves into amorphous puddles and move over more terrain. Including walls. Warrior Ink can turn their bodies into deadly projectiles sheathed in dark energy. Their tip, the tips of their legs are razor sharp, making them formidable in melee. Finally, Warrior Ink are capable of channeling transdimensional energy and firing it at their enemies. Their only real weakness is bright, pure light, which they hate and fear. So these were more like the uh, creatures that we saw <clears throat> uh, when we first travel to the portal and I don't know that for sure but they might have been what attacked the soldier those might have just been splinters possess possessed I think those were more possessed splinters than these guys by the way oh yeah one of the reasons I decided to do a second stream today is, like, normally... Uh, well, well, the last time I did a stream, uh, 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 I did my Metroid Prime 2 stream afterwards, my hand just hurt from holding the Wii remote, because you have to... I can't hold it in a very... in an exactly a, a more relaxed position while playing this. Because I kind of have to point it, because of the way this works. Have to sort of point it, point it horizontally, so it, so I can move it around and fire and aim and fire. And doing that start starts to give me hand cramps. So and and after this first stream I had earlier today, my hand didn't hurt yet, but now it's already starting. But I thought like. You know, if my hand isn't, isn't cramping yet, I could probably do another stream. And now I'm instantly wondering if that was <laughs> second guessing that decision. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, what is that? <clears throat> Lightbringer. Light generating forager. Ten Creature generates safe zone while living, immune to most forms of attack. <clears throat> Lightbringers were created by the Luminoff for use in their war with the Ing. The crystalline creatures generate a feel of life-giving energy at all times, and they can be energized like a safe zone crystal. They are immune to most weapon fire. Only a burst of Mante Antimatter can matter any matter can destroy them. I wonder if, if I can hit it with a missile. No. <clears throat> All starting to look f very familiar here. Because, of course, Everything's the mirrored.
Oh, uh, missile expansion, and I don't, and I can't get up there, I don't think. I can try to bomb jump it, but I don't think that'll work. Yeah, I can't make it up there. Had an unusual surface on that. <clears throat> Must be probably is something I have to come back to later. <coughs> that looks very similar to the spider ball tracks that I had that were available in the. I think that this you you had access to the spider ball in the first game, but I don't know. I know you have in the third game, and apparently. It looks like you have them in this one, too. Another big guy. Oh! He has my jump! Space Jump Powered Warrior Ing. Powerful... Powerful metamorph with enhanced jump abilities. <coughs> Excuse me. Able to generate energy shockwaves and force fields. This warrior ing has absorbed the power of the space jump boots. It can leap incredible distances and heights and uses this ability great effect in battle. Target can generate powerful shockwaves of dark energy and will sheath itself in a potent force field to, to protect itself. It cannot maintain the shield indefinitely. Concentrate weapon fire on it when the shield is down. So, so I have to try and uh, sh shoot it when the shield's up, down. Well, that that attack keeps knocking me out of the safe zone. Rather annoying. Wonder if damaging it with missiles would do any good. Oh, it put its shield up right when I fired. Ooh, that does that does a good amount of damage actually. That's helping. Bastard keeps knocking me out of the safe zone. And I think I missed. Can't hit him with missiles up there. Ah, fucker. I should probably fire on these so I can get some energy back. Where'd he go? Where are you? Ah, fuck. Stand still. Oh, there's another pot over there. Now oh, he gave me a small fuck. Hate that attack. I really do. Oh, 
almost got him. If you would just stand still. Oh, one more shot. There we go. Had to deplete all my missiles to take him, but... Ultra Energy! So it's not large, it's ultra. ULTRA COMBO! Finally got my boots back. Now I can start jumping around proper. Oh, I forgot that every time you get, like, an inventory item, it... Ballistic weaponry... I'm just looking... Charged combo enhancements. Trying to figure out. There we go. I was just curious to look at the entry. Yeah, the entries for like the weapons and the, and, and equipment aren't that interesting. More or less, tell you what you already know. Oh, now when I kill one of those, it creates a safe zone. That leads back to the room I was in before. There's a red door, there, there's a red door and a green door. I don't know what those are. I'm going to go back and find out what that is. If I can. Hmm. Can I get up there? I should be able to.
Ah, there we go. Oh, super missile, so I can't do that yet. But I should be able to open this, because this is red. So I found where all the keys go that, that the guy talked about before. I wish the energy would go up faster. <laughs> Let's see. Let's look around this room. Um, shit. Shit, 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 <laughs> That was not a good idea. Oh, God. That was bad. <laughs> very, very bad. I feel like I have to sit in one of these. Well, I hate that. I hate how slow the energy goes up. That's the problem with this this place. That's one of the most easily the most annoying part about Dark Aether is that like there are not enough crystals and the and uh, and the energy recharge on these is so friggin' slow. You have to just to friggin' sit here and wait for your energy to go back up before you can start moving around again. I'll risk it. Ooh, key. Found one of them. Oh, this is a room that apparently is a, uh... let me see, just get, did this get, get something, aha, so I need two more keys now. Problem is, I don't see like a for this next to to reach the next section. I don't have to see a nearby 
bubble or, or I'm seeing uh, or energy I don't see an air by light light thing light beacon that I can activate so I may have to wait it out here at least a little bit before I move forward because I don't want to rest too much your energy drains fucking fast. Risking it. Fuck it. I don't it's tired of waiting. Oh, never mind. I can't go that way. Can I go through the other way? I'm not sure. And I'm not sure I want to risk going over that way right now. There must be a crystal like right underneath this. That's why, that's why I don't have to shoot anything to get... <sighs> this is always the tedious part of the game. This, by far, is the, the part of the game that's annoying. Uh, no. Okay, I can't go that way at all. That was a big risk I just took there. So, I can only get one key out of that. I think now, at this point, I could uh, could go over there and see if I can't do anything over there. Yeah, let's go that way. Whoops. Whoops! Well, I just fucked myself. How far did I get set back? Yeah, that was that was a risk I should not have taken at all. Oh, I have to fight this shit again? Oh my god. Uh, I have to do this again. That was... That was a horrible fucking idea. Oh my god, I got fucked. Jesus. I got fucked. I got sent really far back. Holy shit. I, I'm going to have to redo a lot of stuff now. Oh my god. That was a hor- I, I risked way too much. I just didn't want to have to stream myself, like, sitting in a, sitting in a safe zone regaining health. I really didn't. I'm going to have to fight the Jump Guardian again. This is the this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm this is what I talked about earlier. This is what makes the game bullshit. The lack of fucking save points. C 
serious fucking lack of them. There needs to be more. Way the fuck more. I have to reskin everything I already did. God damn it. All because I risked my health trying to just go around and explore. Well, at least I was able to get back here fairly quickly. <sighs> I have, can't believe I have to do this again. See, there should be... After a significant boss like this, there needs to be a save point way the fuck closer. Than I saw, than I was able to... There should be like a save point right nearby this, I'm sorry. I should not have to go back that far. So mad. Seriously. I should not... It's one thing to re have to redo the boss if I lost. But I have to do the boss because I died after the boss was already after after I killed the boss, and there were no there were no nearby save points, so I can't so I wasn't able to save my progress to save the fact that I did kill it. See, that's bullshit. Like, you know what should happen? Honestly, I think what the game needs to do. What, the, what they should do in the future for Metroid Prime 4. Okay, keep the save points, but auto-save the game after, like, significant events, like killing a boss. That's what should happen. Auto-save the your progress and at least the... at least in far as once you kill a boss. You'll have to, you'll still have to start from the, the nearest save point, but at least it'll save your whatever you did. Now you won't be able to load from an auto save point, you'll, it'll just save your progress. That's that would make the most sense. I would like this. I think that would be a good system to use. You still have to save at a save point, but it saves your progress as you go. So you don't lose anything when you die.
Get on with it! I already did this shit. I don't need to see it again. Okay, now when I'm exploring, I have to be a lot more careful than I was originally. I think the problem that I, that the reason I died last time is I took too much time fucking around and looking. And doing that, yeah, doing things like that, that, that doesn't help at all. I don't understand why they block off access to that. That, that, that way. And there's no other, doesn't seem to be any other way to get there. Oddly enough, the inglets aren't showing up like they did last time. Oh, what? Well, now here they are. this way. Oh wait, I can't go that way, that's right. Cause that's like has a it's 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 gated off. 
forgot about that. So it looks like the only thing I can do is go back through the portal. Uh, of course this game can't make things easy. I mean, I know he said I have to get the keys, but... Like, why can't I just go to the energy controller? I can leave this toxic place and stop taking damage. At all times, as long as I'm not in it. Okay, that opened that, so activating that bomb slot on the dark side opened that pathway that I couldn't get to before. That was blocked off. Well, there is the thing that now that I have bombs, I can access areas that I, on this side I wasn't able to before. Should be able to. Question is where should I try and go next?
Hmm. I wonder if I can go over there. Wait, no. Hang on. That's that big room. Yeah, I can't go that way. Never mind. Or at least I can't go up there, but I could, yeah, potentially go this way. Can't go that way yet, but can't go over here. I also not only oh yeah, and there's also the fact that I have the soup the the, the the space jump, so I can reach areas that I couldn't before. There's that to consider. Oh yeah, there's this one area in this in this room that I couldn't get to. I forgot about that. I can jump on this now. Device is a component of a larger mix mining system and used to extract minerals from raw ore. So that opened a door that I can now go through. Or an area to a door. What is that? Storage unit has been modified to transport radioactive material. Rad scans indicate the present it's a phase on energy. Handle with caution. Oh shit. Phase on the very stuff that mutated the giant creature I had to fight at the end of match raid prime one. Big room. Wall fashioned from wreckage of the space pirate vessel shot down by the GFS S tier. Structural analysis complete. Crude but efficient device designed to harness wind power. Components are of space pirate design. Oh, cutscene. Hey, we're walking here. Strike class assault skiff, light attack group, and troop transport. Vehicles are unarmed but heavily armored. Eliminate troops if possible before they disperse. Plans for the strike were recently stolen from a GF lab by the space pirates. Production began immediately, and the fast moving skiff is now part of most pirate operations. It is used primarily as, troop, as a troop transport, taking a fire team of troopers into action. The strike is unarmed, relying on the troops it carries for protection against hostile forces.
a lot of pirates in this in this one room. Whoa, what did he just do? Vigilance class turret, man defense system, heavy weapon, fires powerful energy blasts. Use rapid movement and cover to avoid damage. Vigilance class turret is found in many space pirate bases, but built to support the humility class turret. There, that is again. It is accurate as the gunner operating it. Many young space pirates begin their careers as sentries. A tour as a vigilance gunner is considered a mark of distinction. Magnetic rail system track detected. Rail system powered and active. Spider ball technology. Yep, I need the spider ball. I figured as much. Fuck your turret. here oh I can bomb this wait hang on a second I want to go back Can't get back up. Should be able to get back up. Come on. Come on. Are you telling me I'm stuck down here? I didn't mean... I didn't know that was going to happen. I would have known that was going to happen. I would have went through the door first. See, I can almost get up. there get up there I have an idea potentially not sure if this will work the problem is the surface is so uneven I can't get like a solid footing. To get back up, that's the problem. Yeah, I'm I think I'm fucked. I I can't go through the, I can't go back through. 
that I don't know how else what else to do cuz I cannot get back up it will not let me back up there that's lame seriously why would you design it so once I drop down I can't get back up I'm annoyed feels like I should be able to get back up. Ugh, I give up. I, I boned myself. I did not expect that. Well, it looks like it wouldn't have been... Would I have been able to get through there? No, I actually... Never mind. I wouldn't have been able to get through it anyway because it would be a dark door. And I don't have... I don't have, like any dark weapons, so yeah, I wouldn't have been able to get through anyway. So, I'm fine. I guess I'm not, I didn't completely bone myself. Got a missile upgrade. Cool looking room. Hey! Don't close the. How dare you close the door on me? So I can't go through that, I don't think. Ooh, space pirate logs. Rift portal. Log 4421. The rift portal has been opened. The artifact weapon dubbed the Dark Beam by science team provides the energy needed to open the portal. Low for a limited time. We sent expeditions through the portal and they have returned with incredible news. The portal leads to a parallel version of ether. This dark ether has suffered a global calamity, turning it into a toxic wasteland. It is the homeworld of the shadowy creatures who have been raiding our base for the last cycle. Most importantly, it is the prime location of phase on this sector. Extraction plans are being prepared. We will not be denied. So that tells me that the meteor that hit the planet was full of phase on. Great discoveries. A spatial anomaly has been found within our base. We believe this rift in space-time leads to a parallel dimension of some type, but have been unable to interact with it thus far. A strange artifact was found near the anomaly as well. It may be a weapon or generator of some kind. Perhaps it is the key to accessing the anomaly. High Command is eager for reports on the relic. A new weapon for our arsenal is always welcome. Phase on operations. Whoops. Science team detected the presence of phase on in the DASHA system for four cycles ago. High Command authorized the deployment of our team shortly thereafter. Our orders are to establish a base on planet Ether and evaluate local phase on resources. Because of this world because this world lies in the periphery of Galactic Federation territory, we are following stealth protocols at the highest level. A cadre of elite commandos have been dispatched to provide security for a force as well. This operation is now underway. Local conflict. Intelligence reports on the indigenous population of Ether are in error. This planet is not at peace, nor are the inhabitants docile. Evidence of a class 4 conflict is present here. Though hostilities are at a minimal level now, 
Our territory has suffered several raids by a strange type of shadowy creature. These raids have cons caused considerable damage, and we have requested more combat troops in response. Faith on raids. Oops. Phase on extraction raids are underway on Dark Ether. The toxicity of the atmosphere has taken a toll on our workforce, and as have the hostile natives of that world. Science team is preparing survival gear to protect our work teams, and we have increased our security presence in extraction areas. Fortunately, High Command is sending more troops and supplies. Our troops and resources are spread dangerously thin, and this mission cannot fail. When you bet when a bet it failed. Century report. I grow weary of standing watch on a wasteland. The accursed marines are weak and vulnerable. Why do we not attack? They owe us a fate debt for the attack on our supply ship. Instead of selling account settling accounts, we sit around in the sandbat like a group of timid old spinsters. It is time for action. Medical report. Technician twelve relieved after showing symptoms of phase on fever, in which he claimed that the phase on as his own and held it at gunpoint until security arrived. Metroid Officer Report. The order to mass breed Metroids is insane. We have no space to store them. Perhaps when command is staring a bunk with hungry Metroid infants, they will rethink this unwise order. So they've brought Metroid with with, with them. That's lovely. Dark Ether. Transdimensional duplicate of planet Ether. Can't determine origin of Aether's dark twin. Contains high levels of phase on ore. Native bioforms attack on site. Obscure world in the Dasha system. Planet is unstable due to transdimensional flux. Warfare has devastated a good portion of the world's population. Finally, extreme climate shifts have left most of Aether un uninhabitable. Casualty Report. Mining Expedition 422 reports three dead, two injured, one missing in action. Captured bioform transferred to science team for study. Security Report. Commando Unit 87 has failed to report. Unit was dispatched to recon the swamp, a potential site for a new base. Unit 98 sent to investigate. Metroid Energy Report. Until we recover more Phazon, we rely on Metroids for power. How does that work? Command has authorized mass breeding of Metroids for this purpose. How do you use Metroids as a power source? Security Report. The marine vessel has been under attack by indigenous predators for several days. Casualties are high. The marine force is near elimination. Oh, elevator. Continuous. I'm going to keep scanning this room. Security analysis, please. Unable to bypass space pirate security. Portal control access denied. Find an alternate method of accessing portal control. Dark Ether Transit 424 complete. Radiation levels within tolerances. Dark cannon operating at full power. No signs of instability de detected. Cooldown cycle underway. There's stuff up there. Dark Hunter analysis. Scans of the Dark Hunter have revealed she grows stronger as she consumes Phazon. Already a class platinum triple A threat level, we shudder to think of her power level if she consumes her entire Phazon supply. I think they're talking about my other the the uh the Samus that look the uh the other me, essentially. Planetary stab Stability Report. Planetary energy is at critical, creating violent climate changes and tectonic shifts. Unless these conditions can be reversed, global destruction is inevitable. So this planet is coming apart. And I'm, I'm assuming that if I can't, like, reclaim the energy and that this the whole planet will be destroyed... 
there's another thing. Security alert. All systems and units. Datanet has been compromised. The hunter has hacked her datanet. All of our secrets are now hers. She cannot be allowed to escape. Terminate her on site. That's me. I'm the hunter. Trying to get that out of the way so I can scan better. There we go. Security alert. All units to battle stations. The Dark Hunters breach the Metroid production facility. Protect phase on supply at all costs. Death to the Dark Hunter. Glory to the space pirates. So think of pretty much explored as much as I can of this room. Or this air, this part of the room. Let's go up on the elevator here. Oh, there's another thing. Phase on collection report. Phase on supply at site one is diminishing. Sites two and three are supply rated above ninety percent. Site four remains a problem due to high presence of hostile bioforms. Are you not dead? the shot through that does that mean I can get across nope maybe I should have let it keep shooting Hello, it's the other me. And she's ran away again. Security system active. You need energy required for door access. Energize door with dark energy to open it. Another log. Federation attack. Another disaster. The transport bringing our reinforcements and supplies have been shot down. It was engaged in orbit by a Federation vessel which has landed near the alien temple. It's only a matter of time before the Marines attack. Survivors from our ship have made their way to our base. Here we shall make our stand. Another enemy. First the Shadowlings, then the Dark Hunter, and now the Galactic Federation Marine Corps. Perhaps fate will smile upon us before the world itself opens up as maw and swallows up. Too bad for you guys. <laughs> you have to deal a lot of crap. Metroid Brood Generation underway. Protocol 3 in effect until further knows it is. Exercise extreme caution when dealing with the birthing or storage of newborns. Remember, infant Metroids are not pets. <laughs> no, really? You think? Of course they wouldn't be. Can't make pets out of Metroids. That's insane. Last door control security bypass. Door will remain in the open position. Security control systems have been jammed at the source. Oh, that opened up that door that that guy closed behind him earlier. Whoa. Aha! These are the humility ones. Been waiting for that. 
Beam weapon variant of captured Federation turret. Evade its fire with click movement. Space Pirates copied captured Federation Growler tournaments but found the cannon unit inadequate. They replaced the Growler's weapon with a powerful ga galvanic accelerator cannon. The humility turret packs a strong punch but retains the Growler system's weaknesses. Fast targets can evade the crew targeting system and the armor can't take much punishment. Yeah, I definitely can't. Lasers. Can't scan those for some... Oddly. Elevator. Oh, hello. Metroid. Metroid Sub has been several blast rooms for space pirate weaponry on low power settings. They wanted it alive after they were finished it. Finished with it. Get on the elevator here. Probably be easy to fight him this way. <laughs> Evidence of symbiotic bonding present in subject system. Subject is barely alive and it's periodically leached off its bioenergy by Metroids. Can I scan them? Yes, I can. Talon Metroid, energy craving parasite. Taken from Pal planet Talon 4, target leeches bioenergy from its victims. Stunned by concussive blacks, vulnerable to dark energy. Spire pirates harvest and enslave Metroids for use in their operations. The Talon Metroid will latch onto prey with powerful pincers, then proceed to drain its life energy. This causes the creature to grow in size and mass. The creatures are vulnerable to the chilling effect of dark energy and can be attacked by entering a morph bomb mode and deploying a bomb. So, dark energy is cold. It, so it functions similar to the ice beam in this game. Is what I'm... What it sounds like. Another lore entry. The Hunter. Samus, Samus Aaron, the accursed hunter, has arrived. The sudden arrival of the hunter is strange enough, but her actions are stranger still. She does not seek her destruction, but our Phazon. With each raid, she steals Phazon ore, only killing those who attempt to deny her. What she needs for it, we do not know. Although science team suspects she requires it to power her new armor suit. Dark in color, it is equipped with strange new weapons. The troops now call her the Dark Hunter. It is a fitting title. So it's, once again, the other me. Metroid handling protocols. Metroid are not pets. Metroid are not for target practice. Finally, unauthorized feeding of Metroids is still strictly prohibited. Sorry if you're hearing my alarm. That's the alarm to feed my cat. I'll do that soon once I finish and find a save point. Metroid subject is severely scarred. Wounds appear to be from repeated conduct with a command came field, most likely received while attempting to escape. Metroid subject has been re energy drained repeatedly over the last three cycles. Subject cellar structure has become unstable as a result. Metroid subject has suffered from food poisoning. It has ingested several pet treats and space pirate rations. These do not agree with its digestive system. Okay. 
The unit is a powered security barrier. The space price to use this barrier to control access in this high security area. Must be rotated to advance. Ingram. Whoa, hello. Pirate Aero Trooper, Airborne Assault Trooper. Fast moving and extremely well armored. Well armed. Jetpacks can be overloaded with thermal damage. Pirate Aero Troopers are known for their cold precision and utter cruelty. Armed with both beam and missile systems, the Aero Trooper can be a difficult foe to engage, especially at range. Their jetpacks can be overloaded with heat based attacks, however. These units prefer death before dishonor. An injured arrow trooper will make a suicide strike before allowing themselves to be captured. Well, I don't have heat stuff, so... Really, all I can do is shoot it with my normal beam or the missiles, but I'm not going to waste missiles if I don't have to. And a couple of charge shots took care of them anyway. Injury report. Unit 686 released a Metroid for target practice today. The Metroid then assaulted 686. He should be regaining brain functions in a cycle. <laughs> Ugh, my head. Theft report. Three Metroids have been stolen. All undone units have been questioned. Whereabouts of Metroids are unknown. Doubling security in Metroid areas until further notice. Termination report. Metroid Unit 318 was put down today after a failed domestication in session. Metroid Unit refused commands and terminated one of its handlers before it was subdued. Security report. The Dark Hunter was spotted near the Metroid tanks. She attempted to breach the containment racks without success, then escaped. Perhaps she is behind the recent Metroid theft. Why would they why would she the other me want Metroids? Training report. Science team believes that the Metroids can be trained. After several cycles of trying, I believe science team has vapor for brains. I've lost two assistants to the wretched little things. <laughs> you think you can train them, do you? This is a little report. It's I can one thing. It's one thing to like see them as a power source, but another to consider them like trainable. Units. 013 and 043 have been placed on low rations after being caught configuring the power storage racks for amusement purposes. Agility training is to occur only in sanctioned training areas. So they decided to create an agility course for themselves and got in trouble. Production report Metroids. Mass breeding of Metroids underway. We will meet commands quota within a cycle. Storage remains an issue. Re recommend expansion of existing facility before a critical Metroid level is re reached. Maintenance report. Energy containment field generators have failed three times. I fear for our safety. We're out of spare part. One more failure and we're finished. What is that noise? Oh, might be that. Process interaction wound to position one. So it moved everything. Might as well get some health back from the boxes if I can. Alpha power storage racks configured to desired position. Ah, 
Aha! Uh -huh. This is the Alpha Prowler Storage Rack Position Monitor. Two nearby consoles control the movement of the Alpha Port Power Storage Rack. Scan them to operate the system. So what th these little guys do is move these so I can create like platforms. This is Delta. I think I have an idea of what I'm supposed to do here. Gamma. Actually, none of think about it. Hang on a second. No, I have it right. There we go. Created a path. Oh, hello. There's an item over on the other side. I might actually want to do the exact opposite here. Whoops. Oops. Aha, it's a good thing I did that. Yeah, that's what I thought I spotted. Okay, now time to reset it back to the way I originally had it. Oops. Fuck that up. There we go. go What do you want to bet there's something in this area here? Whoa. Ah, good. There's a save point nearby. I thought there was like oh that just led me to the other side because I couldn't get it to it any other way until I did that I thought there would be like a power up in that in that room there's a war 
Security breach. The Dark Hunter teleports into the base at will. Our security has proven next to useless against her. Her latest raid was disastrous. Not only did we lose more phase onto her, but she also crippled the stealth field generator with her strange new weapons. We are exposed. Until the replacement generator arrives, we will be vulnerable to scans and detection. I, our presence here is still minimal. Should the Federation find us, we will be unable to defend our position. Fortunately, Aether is on the fringe of Federation space. With luck, we will have a stealth field back in effect before being detected. Now that we're all saved up, I can go ahead and stop the stream for now. Check back next time, everyone, for more Metroid Prime 2. Thanks for watching. This has been Rock 10. Signing off for now. Slick out.